When looking at transformer ratios, we first of all have to kind of understand what a transformer does. If you pass current through a coil, that will generate and pass through the coil a magnetic field. If you pass a mag excuse me, magnetic field through a coil, that will generate current. So what a transformer does, it takes a voltage and current in one coil and transfers it to another one. Depending on how many turns you've got in each coil, you can either increase the voltage while decreasing the current, or you can increase the current while decreasing the voltage. The reason for that is the ratio between primary and secondary turns is the same ratio as the voltage. So if this increases 10 times in terms of number of turns, the voltage also increases by 10 times. However, the current is inversely proportional, so it would decrease by 10 times. Now, by doing an example, hopefully I can make this a little more real for you. To calculate the turns ratio, take the number of turns in the primary over the number of turns in the secondary. So in our example, in blue I've written some sample information. We've got 120 volts in the primary, 1.5 amps, 200 turns. Secondary coil is 600 turns. So the turns ratio is 200 in the primary to 600 in the secondary. Divide both by 200, you get 1 to 3. So, for every one turn in the primary, there's three turns in the secondary. For voltage, there's a direct relationship in the turns from primary to secondary. So my ratio of primary turns to secondary turns equals the ratio of the primary voltage to the secondary voltage. So if I write in the values that I know, my turns ratio is 1 to 3, primary to secondary. My voltage, the primary is 120 volts. The secondary is what I'm going to find out. Once I write that ratio, just with all the other ratio questions we've done, we can cross multiply. So 1 times x gives me x, 3 times 120 volts gives me 360 volts. So the secondary voltage is 360 volts, whereas the primary was 120. Current is inversely proportional to the number of turns. So when I write out my equation, I put primary turns to secondary turns, equals, and I flip it. Secondary current goes on top, primary current goes on the bottom, because it's inversely proportional. It'll reverse what voltage does. So if voltage increased in this one, current should decrease. So my turns ratio is 1 to 3, primary to secondary. My current ratio is secondary to primary. So secondary, I don't know. I put an x here. That's 1.5 in the primary. Again, we cross multiply and solve these things. 3x equals one and a half amps, divide both sides by three to get x equals 0 0.5 amps. So the ratio of one to three in turns, the primary current, or voltage was one to three, but current was reversed that, it was three to one. So be very careful when you're calculating these things, you treat voltage with the same proportions as the turns, but current inversely proportional. Remembering also that it's not always a step up on the voltage. It could be a step down. If I had more turns here and fewer turns here, it's the voltage that would drop and the current that would increase because they work in reverse. The voltage goes with the turns, the current goes in the opposite direction.